That is a sweet, sweet sound, eh? Freshly rebuilt engine actually runs when you turn the key. Oh, it didn't quite happen like that, but keep watching and you'll see. Um, but you know, my grandfather told me, he said, when you finally turn that key uh, and the engine starts, after all that work you've put into it all that time, he's like, it's the best feeling ever. And uh, yeah, it was pretty great. So um, I just want to take a quick moment and say thank you to all you who've joined in for this series. Uh, it's been a lot of work for me, but also a lot of fun. Um, it's been great to have your interaction and just gave me motivation to just keep pushing through with this project. So uh, thank you to you. Um, stick around this channel. This is going to be it for engine rebuilds for now, but um, I'm going to be diversifying my content a little bit, shall we say. Um, maybe a little less work related and a little bit more uh, adventuring related. Anyways, um, without further ado, let's just jump right into it and we'll see how it goes. All right, my good wife has helped me out. You can come out now. She is I'm a good wife. A very good wife. She was helping me turn the engine over my hand. All right, come on up and I'll explain to both of you what's going on. All right, so <laughs> tried to start, got backfiring out of the carb. Bad sign, so I stopped trying. Um, what we've done is we're verifying the timing. So you can see we got the valve cover off, the number one spark plug is out, and we've got the distributor open. Um, what's going on here is that I did set the distributor when the number one piston was at top dead center, which is what you're supposed to do, but it was the wrong top dead center. Um, it was top dead center on the exhaust stroke, I believe is what it would be, not the compression stroke. So uh, that's bad. Um, don't get the right ignition sequence. And when I set it to top dead center, the distributor, you can see the rotor here, was actually lined up down at the bottom. We have since verified by Sharice carefully, painstakingly. Uh, that's a good word, she likes that word, painstaking. Carefully turning the engine over my hand, that this is in fact the correct top dead center. And the reason that this is correct uh, is, I'll explain what happened before. When we turned the engine over by hand at the previous top dead center, both valves, they rocked back and forth. They were, they were both moving almost at the same time. That means you're on the exhaust stroke, um, which is wrong. So this time we got an extra, extra cycle, basically. And when we spin it, this is the exhaust uh, lifter here, or rocker here. It does not move at all until like a half a turn of the engine um, after this one stops. So that's that's the right place, I think. And the distributor is 180 degrees out. So we're gonna go over and go ahead and pull the distributor, flip her around, plop her back in, plop everything back together, and then try starting it again. Stay tuned. Let's try this thing again. Okay, neutral. Un momento, por favor. We need the extra juice. What does that mean? Hmm? Oh, that's extra juice, juice acquired. acquired. Yeah. All right. Okay. Let's walk to the same place we started this whole thing. Commentary done. <laughs> Let's start the sentence. Okay. Two pumps. happened it was running what happened Jeremy why know. did it stop it probably ran out of gas the heck it's actually working it actually is running all what right what do you think that's gonna happen not this Holy smoke. So what we've done is that thing fired up. It was just like asking to run, which is really cool. Um, I barely hit the key and it fired right up. 
So um, fired it up and what we need to do now is we need to let it run for a few minutes. I'll probably let it run for at least 10 minutes at 2000 RPM. So I just uh, used the handy screwdriver and adjusted the carburetor uh, idle speed screw to get us to 2000. And um, we just want to see this thing warm up basically. And man, that power steering pump sucks. Seriously. for joining me for this uh, this whole series it's it's been a ton of fun um, it's been it's been a lot of work but yeah it's been a ton of fun it's been great to have your comments your questions um, please feel free to leave them down below if you got any questions comments but uh, it's it's been it's been great so thank you for joining me um, and I think this is this is gonna be it for the engine rebuild series so I'm not not planning to do one of these rebuilds again for a little while fingers crossed so Thank you again so much for joining me. Stay tuned for further content uh, that'll be a little more variety than just engine rebuild stuff. I'm out. <laughs>